Okay, we're doing problems 73 and 74 from page 270, and we're asked to find a new function g by making some transformations on a function f of x. And in problem number 73, we're looking at going up two units, and in problem 74, we're looking at going down two units. So if you're going to translate up two units, you're going to be adding 2 to the function. So if your function was f of x, your new function is f of x plus 2. An example of that would be if your function was x squared, your new function is x squared plus 2. Whatever you started with, your new one is just 2 more than that. Same idea with number 74 moving down 2. If you're starting with f of x, your new function is f of x minus 2. And if you're starting with something like, say, x squared, then your new function is x squared minus 2. And then when it comes to moving left or right, in problem number 73, it says shift it to the left three units. And in 74, it says shift it to the right three units. So in general, if you start with f of x and you shift it to the left three units, you end up with f of x plus 3. Notice that the x plus 3 is inside the parentheses, so it's inside the function. So for example, if we started with x squared and shifted it left three units, we would have x plus 3 squared. The plus 3 is happening just to the x inside the squaring. And down here, if we're moving right three units, if we started with f of x, we would end up with f of x minus 3. Or, for example, if we started with x squared, we would end up with x minus 3 squared. So I think it'll make it a little bit easier for us to solve this problem if we put in some extra parentheses. So let's say that our original f of x is 2 times x, with parentheses around the x, plus 5. That doesn't change the meaning of it at all. It just makes it more clear to us what we're going to do. Okay, now our new function is g, and we need to do both of these transformations. We need to add 2 at the end, and we need to add 3 inside the function just to x. So adding the 3 inside the function looks like this. That's the shift left. And then adding the 2 outside the function looks like that. That's the shift up. And the last thing we need to do is simplify. So suppose we distribute the 2. and combine the like terms. We will have our answer, g of x equals 2x plus 13. Okay, similarly for problem number 74, we're starting with our f of x. Let's just put some parentheses around the x. f of x equals 3 minus x. And so g of x is what we get when we, let's do the right shift, so when we change from x to x minus 3, and then for the up, or excuse me, the down shift when we subtract 2. And then we're just going to simplify that. So let's distribute the negative. And then combine the like terms. And we have the opposite of x plus 4 for g of x.